today's spookerific review, we're going to be having a look at the McFarlane Toys Movie Maniacs Series 2 Halloween's Michael Myers. Let's get ourselves the haunted tape measure. Actually, it's the same type of tape measure I normally use. Let's take the tape measure to find out that Michael Myers is seven inches tall. This is one of the earlier series of, of Movie Maniacs and therefore does come with this really neat looking display stand predominantly for displaying the original movie poster in which the figure is depicted from. Here we have Halloween, the original Halloween poster, the night he came home. It looks good, I mean, although the poster, as you can see, is really, really warped. It's got all these little wrinkles and stuff to it. You can kind of push it out, but it looks like it wasn't glued in very well to start off with. It also doesn't so ha help either that the stand seems to have a slight curve to it, causing anything that you're attaching to the back. Crudely, yes, with some very noticeable glue points, but it does cause the poster to slightly warp causing the effect that you're seeing right here. Uh, down below you got the movie Maniacs and some nice skulls and spinal cords and just really neat looking stands. This is the kind of stuff you just don't get nowadays which is kind of sad. I wish that toy companies would give you pretty neat display stands or display options. It's not even so much a stand as it is just kind of something that stands up behind the figure or if you have the necessary space, you can have it right to the side of the figure, of course, probably not with a big gap in the middle there for his accessories. Uh, cueing the accessory portion of this review, he does come with the jack-o'-lantern. And a good, fair good representation of the original jack-o'-lantern at the beginning of the movie. Does not light up. The NECA's version did light up, at one point at least, but this one does not light up. It has a slight faded look to it. Uh, this figure, um, I didn't actually have in my collection for a while. This was one of the most requested reviews I think that you guys have asked for. Can you can you do the movie Maniacs Michael Myers? Can you do the movie Maniacs Michael Myers? I ended up having to find this guy on eBay. I didn't have, I had him initially in my collection. I sold it and then I had to pick this guy up. And unfortunately, I don't think I, I got the greatest of versions of Michael here, but we'll talk about that later. The pumpkin, though, does have a slight faded look to it, a little off gray. Now, you could just say, you could chalk that up to decay, mold, fungus has just placed itself and scattered itself across the whole rind portion of the pumpkin. But uh, a nice little display option that you get your little pumpkin. Also comes with a knife, of course, his go-to weapon. He gets the carving knife. The handle looks awfully proportioned or under proportioned I would say to the rest of the blade. You've got a very large blade and a very rinky-dink sort of small handle. They didn't really give it much in the way of paint. It kind of also also kind of looks like a cartoon knife. It doesn't really it doesn't read realistic to me. But for that matter I would say Michael Myers doesn't really read realistic either. There is your knife. Let's put that to the side and let's get to the meat and potatoes of it all. Here we have Michael Myers, the figure. Now I will not, of course, bog this review down with memories of days gone by, but I can tell you my initial outing with the original movie Maniacs line was basically where it started at all. Freddy and then of course Jason afterwards was really what started my reviewing tumbling, spiral, spiraling out of control. I got, of course, all the other uh, figure releases as they were coming out, and I would always get them by cases. And I feel as if I got maybe two Mike and Myers when I initially bought the case of these way back when. That was a long time ago. I sold those, and now, of course, I had to pick this guy up on eBay. Uh, I have to say, in all honesty, if we compare... I just so happen to have him right here. I'm going to put him down for a second. I know the review is really about him. I'm just going to get his feet to plant properly. Where'd he go? Everybody says, where'd he go? I'm right here. If we bring in the Jason Voorhees and put them side by side, both have a very dated look to them. Some would say the looks have not 
aged well. I would say though, Jason, to some extent, I still have a fond, fond love for. He is dated, yes, but I think there's something about him that I just still gravitate towards. Maybe I just have a more fonder memory of finding this guy. I think it was at Kmart or Zeller's back in the day. I found him actually on the pegs and I picked him up along with, uh, with Freddy. Michael Myers, on the other hand, try as I might, I think I ultimately look at this guy with rose-colored glasses. Some could say, well, you look at Jason with rose-colored glasses as well. But I would say of the two figures, I don't think Michael here has aged all that well. We're obviously looking at Jason, so I'll just move him out of the way. The reason why I say that, for starters, obviously, he's very limited on posability. Uh, really, what you're getting, uh, you know, we'll talk about this right now. His head... Very, very limited articulation. Arm, arm, and the arm. Oh no, oh no, did I pop? Oh no, I broke the peg. Oh, I broke the peg. I was gonna say his articulation all the way around this. Oh boy. Anyways, his arm would be able to rotate. Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna keep this in the review just to show you guys. The hands rotate. The arm, other arm rotates perfectly fine. I don't know why this one, I don't know why this one was such an issue. I just dropped the arm too. The hand, the forearm, the hand, the waist, and the legs. Well, a dab of glue later. I've got the arm in place. I technically don't need it to be posable. I mean, the arm can only really extend outward. That's a real shame that the peg broke. I can only say that it's just over the course of time. This is an old figure after all that Things just got really stiff on him, and it's a shame that through the process of that, the arm broke. But the arm's glued back into place. That's good enough for me. At least, if anything, this hand rotates. But again, because they're pre-posed, you really can't do all that much with it. So there's your posability. Some worse for wear with the loss of the arm, but let's proceed. Well, where can we start first? Let's start at the head. And I had alluded this at the beginning of this review that I think I didn't get one of the greatest ones. Uh, sight unseen, other than just a photo, and of course you're seeing it in packaging, so it's really hard to gauge it. Sight unseen, the face sculpt was hard to tell whether it was good or not. Um, I don't think I got the greatest uh, example of Michael Myers here. And I don't mean that from a movie maniac standpoint, but I just mean like the paint quality. There's some really dark shading that this particular figure's got that probably other movie movie maniac Michael Myers may not have had. I also seem to think that the hair reads a little too light versus the darker, more medium brown that normal Michael Myers figures would have had. If only I, I had had the original Michael Myers that I had from my collection and I didn't sell it, loaned here, uh, I think it would have actually looked a little bit better. It's not to say that it's a great face sculpt to start off with, because all in, in all honesty, I don't think it's a great likeness at all to Michael Myers. In fact, I would almost say that it looks like a cartoony version of Michael, almost something that I would have expected to see from The Simpsons. And you may say that's, that's awfully harsh, but I don't think it looks at all like Michael. Maybe from, maybe from, from a distance, and I can tell you one of my big big pet peeves with this particular figure, but I won't, I won't say it just yet. But maybe from a distance, it doesn't look as bad. And if you've got the head somewhat low, not that the head can really tip up and down, but if you've got it kind of low lit from a distance, it doesn't look terrible. But looking at it very closely, it almost looks like, which is somewhat ironic me to say this, this is based obviously on a Captain Kirk mask. Everybody knows that. But it this figure kind of reminds me of old William Shatner, which I find is somewhat ironic. The nose, I feel, it doesn't, it looks too big. He's got this weird sculpting to his mouth, which I'm not a big fan of. But my biggest gripe with this figure is the fact that the eyes are so very obviously visible. Now, most Michael Myers figures have eyes. The NECA version had eyes. 3-0's version of Michael had eyes. 
but it's all about how recessed those eyes are that reads as to how visible you can see them. I feel like these eyes are a little too close to the to the the openings of the eyes. Not that you could make it any further back, but somehow if they had sculpted the mask as a separate piece and put it over top of the eyes, I think it would look deep enough that it wouldn't look as close to the mask as you see right here. This is one of the things that ruins this figure for me. If I would ever think to go in and customize a figure, the first thing I would probably do is take not a solid black, but maybe like a very watered down black paint and paint the interior areas of those eyes just so you can see them as much. I say watered down so that you could still see the eyes, but certainly not at a clarity that you can see them right here. Again, the mask isn't all that great. The head sculpt isn't fantastic. And the hair, actually, coincidentally enough on this figure, this looks like more like Halloween 2 Michael Myers than it does Halloween 1 Michael Myers, where the mask has gotten a little bit lighter as the coloring has got, come out of the hair and the mask looks a little bit more stretched. Let's have a look at his boiler suit, the mechanics outfit here. Um, it, it's not bad. Like, it's got some cool wrinkles and stuff to it, but what kills almost for this lower half of the figure is excessive amounts of black paint. Their goal, I suppose, was to incorporate a little bit of shading to it, but the black paint is almost at excessive nausea. It's a little too much for my liking. Again, you, as you saw earlier, when the poor arm was... Oh, broke off. But he doesn't have a lot of articulation. Even if, like, even if you rotated the figure, based on the nature of the way the sculpt is anyways, you can't really rotate the figure in, it, in any pose other than straightforward would this figure look right. I mean, that's about, that's about as much as you would want to do for it. So that really, this being a swivel point, is completely pointless. Makes no, no. It makes no argument as to why it needs to be there because obviously it doesn't look right when you rotate it. The hands are okay, but I mean suffers from very early sculpts on figures in which they come across very excessively old, very wrinkly on the fingers. The fingernails are very underdefined. I mean, I have to be fair to the figure because it is an older figure, but I mean, sculpt is sculpt. I don't think those are fantastic looking hands, this hand either. And certainly I do not like the, the head sculpt. Uh, for posing him, you can go ahead and take the knife. You can either have the knife obviously up this way, but I would be more inclined to probably have the knife handle side down like that. And then you can have Michael displayed such as this. Um, he could have come with some other accessories, but really, I mean, you think Michael Myers, you basically think knife right off the bat. So, I mean, that argues why they would have only included a knife. One thing, as some defense to the figure itself, I do like that they actually have put the cut on the back of the actual mask, the area where it would have been opened to fit over Meyer's head. I like that they would have actually put a little slit there. Say what you will, and I know I've certainly said a lot about this figure. Say what you will, I mean, that's a little, little bit of added detail that I do certainly appreciate. But there, in a nutshell, is Michael Myers. Sadly a little bit broken, but still, Michael Myers. I suppose I might have sounded a little harsh during the course of this review. Uh, there are certain figures, no matter how, whether I looked at them back then or I look at them now, overall just aren't great figures. I even feel like back when I had originally picked up the Series 2 Michael Myers here, I think even back then I didn't like the head sculpt either. Some figures, yes, like the Freddy Krueger and the Jason Voorhees, have very crude sculpts to them, but they're still figures that I love having in my collection. Michael Myers here, on the other hand, I would honestly say, if you just want a Michael Myers period, I would honestly get the the NECA one, either, either the Evolution of the Evil or Bob's uh, sheet version of Michael. I think either one of those are superior to this one right here. This was really only a pickup if you want the vintage aspect of getting one of the older, if not one of the first Michael Myers figures in your collection. He does really scream, no pun intended, 
very old, very dated, very primitive head sculpt that if, if I didn't have a desire to want to pick this guy up to review him for you guys, I probably would not have even picked him up. The Michael Myers from NECA is perfectly acceptable. Will we ever get another NECA release of Michael Myers? I can only hope, but I hear that licensing for the Halloween properties are a little stricter and a little harder to come by. NECA has said on occasions that they had no plans for releasing any new Michael Myers figures, but I can hope, only hope that maybe that changes over the course of time. This figure, on the other hand, I would only stress this to people that are avid fans of Michael Myers that want to get every single figure on the market, or for fans that love the vintage aspect of the Movie Maniacs, this is not one of the best Movie Maniacs. If you want to think of like great Movie Maniac figures, I mean, there's certainly lots to choose from. Even the likes of a Candyman. Candyman nowadays looks just as good as something that NECA could have produced. Unfortunately, Michael Myers here, I think, is one of the least interesting and least uh, sculpted from a standpoint of a sculpt. I think he's one of the least impressive that McFarlane Toys has ever released. And that's sad for me to say that because I'm such a big Michael Myers fan. Today's spookerific review finally was here. We broke an arm in the process, but we were having a look today at the McFarlane Toys Movie Maniacs Series 2, Michael Myers. If you guys like this video and want to see more spookerific reviews, we've got a lot more videos lined up for the month of Spottober. This is just the beginning of the month. Lots more videos are heading your way, so make sure you stay tuned to this channel. If you guys haven't also had a chance to subscribe yet, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching as you always do, guys. I'll see you next time. <laughs>